Hola mis amores, bienvenidas otra vez a mi canal Welcome back to my channel, my name is Ashley If this is your first time here, be sure you do subscribe down below And be sure you do turn that bell notifications to get notifications every time I upload a new video And before you leave, be sure you do follow me on my social media, Makeup Artist 27 That will be Facebook and Instagram It, The links are down below as usual, you can just click and follow Easy, easy, no PC <laughs> And before you leave, be sure you do give it a thumbs up if you do like the video, okay? Let's go ahead and get started on today's video. Alright guys, so on today's video, we are unboxing the BoxyCharm Premium and BoxyCharm Lux. I'm so excited because we had the Lux box. Is that, month, uh, is that time of the month that we get the Lux box, which is one of my favorite ones. Because there's so many products inside and we're going to go ahead and open both. And then we're going to create a fun makeup. That's it. Um, I think that I usually do these every other month. I don't always do a makeup with what I, what I get on BoxyCharm. But we're gonna do it today. We're gonna do it today because we got a cute stuff, okay? We got cute stuff. So I'm gonna open the premium box. This is the premium box. Premium, it has a premium, it's $35. And if you want to subscribe, the link is down below. Um, and usually we get, I think it's like six to seven products on this box. Let's see what we received. I'm gonna go quickly. Um, Hopefully I got the flyer this time. I got the flyer so it's easy. I don't have to go to the website and find prices. So I'm gonna break it down for you. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, six products and I'm gonna go ahead and list them for you and show you what we re we got. Okay, first thing we see is the Queen eyeshadow palette. This retails for $46. It's a 20 pigmented palette. A buttery match, six shimmers, one pressed pearl, four metallics, and one dual chrome. Such, I love the palette though. I love this palette. Look at those colors. Wow. I might keep this because it looks cute. Um, so $48, $46 for that one. Okay, and then we got the Olay. Ole Henrix, Ole, Ole, whatever. I don't know how to say that. Ole Glow Facial. I think it's like a. It's something for the skin. We know that. Maybe like a cleanser or something. Yeah. It's something that you apply for skin, you leave it for 15 minutes, and then you wash it off, use two times per week, day or night. It's a facial mask. It's a facial mask. Okay. Facial mask, $50 for this. $50 for that. They're kind of pricey, but their products are amazing. I've been using their morning, like the orange bottles, moisturizer, and the blue, the nighttime. And of course, I love it. All right. Next, we have Emma facial oil increases moisture levels increases elasticity balance the skin this is how it looks and this retails for 55 Let's see if i can open it Let's see what we got in here it's just a oil a facial oil i'm not a big fan of these but we'll see if i'll keep it or not but some of these products I do give away, guys. Like, I have a bunch that I have uh, listed or separated aside because I want to give them away, which I might do a giveaway soon, even if I don't reach the goal. So be sure you do subscribe, follow me on Instagram so you can keep an eye when I do post it. I might have a giveaway soon because I need to get rid of some of this makeup. So make sure you do follow me so you can keep an eye on that all right the next item i did say the price is 55 for the oil okay then we have um kitsch i think it's this yeah kitsch eyes roller it's a cleanse ritual no idea what the heck is this let me see if i can open it give me a second 
and this retails for $18. It's like a, something for the face. Ooh, I love this stuff. <laughs> I've been using, I have a dual one, like a, the one that has the, those doubles, the two sided, and they had the big one and the smaller size, and I've been using it, and I love it. Ooh, this is exciting. I love this stuff. You can, you can do your own facial at home, and this retails for $18, people. All right, next we have two Marc Jacobs stuff. We have a lip, a lip and a gel eyeliner. Let's see. Let's open the lip. This is the gloss lip. And this retails for $29. We got a lip combo that we can use. Mm, look at that. Marc Jacobs. And you know Marc Jacobs is expensive. Love that. Super cute. Okay, and then we have um, a liner. We have a highlight highliner liquid gel liner. Is this like a liquid liner or? Oh, look at that. Love it. I love this. We're going to be trying this today. This is a gel liner and it's like that um, Sharpie type, which I love those. I'm a fan of those. I'm one of those people. And that retails for $27, people. $27. Um, at the end, we're going to go ahead and add both boxes so I can show you the difference and which one is my favorite box and which was, which one was worth it or not. All right. Now we're going to go to the big, big, big box. It's kind of heavy. It's kind of the same size as the other one though. This is the boxy Lux, people. This is the boxy Lux. Look, I did glance though. I did open it yesterday when I got it. So this is the boxy locks. Let's go ahead and open this baby. And I'll tell you how many products. Here's the flyer. It's kind of like a bigger flyer compared to this one. Okay, so let's see how many products we got. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight products. And the other one was one, two, three, four, five, six. So six and eight, that's a big difference. All right, so I'm gonna go and I like to go on the order here. That way it's, I don't get lost and stuff like that. Okay, first we have Pharmacy Brightening Vitamin C Eye Cream. I'm excited for that. I love these products. I have the uh, makeup, makeup cream from them. Oh, it's the best thing ever. You put it on and you just go like that. And it just takes all your makeup, like, and you just rinse it off, wipe it off, and it's the best thing ever. And I actually got it from BoxyCharm, I think, a couple months ago. So, we have the eye cream. I'm excited. I needed an eye cream. I can put it on my little fridge. Yes, I got a fridge, people. Okay, this is the eye cream. And it's, um, I think it has, like, a, it's cherry. It's a cherry. And this retails for 45 45 people, $45 for the eye cream. And this is how it looks. All right, that is one of the items. Next we have, um, let's see, a nice shadow palette. We have a nice shadow palette, and this is called Hip Dot Zion, Zion, like Zion Lennox, Zion eyeshadow palette. Ooh, this is so pretty. Very fall. I'm gonna use this one. I'm gonna use this one. It's very fall. I love it. Super pretty. That is the um, eyeshadow palette with this with this one, and that one is, retails for thirty thirty dollars, people. Thirty dollars. All right. Next we have Persona Cosmetics Power Brush. Oh, it's the same thing I just grabbed. Kind of looks, you know, kind of looks. It kind of gave me like a vibe of um kw um that um kw what is it contour brush it kind of has like the same design i think kw is a little bit smaller but it's pretty it's a blush side and a highlighter side i think it's so pretty and perfect for traveling so you take less brushes um this retails for 24. it's not about price 24 dollars and you get a duo super cute okay this one i'm excited for because i don't have this 
I don't have this. This is the um, Hyper Metallic Finish um, Freestyle Highlighter Duo Fenty Beauty. Oh my god, I don't have Fenty Beauty highlighter like the Duo. I never got the chance to buy none of those. And I'm so excited. Look at those colors. Oh, so pretty. So pretty. I'm so excited. I don't know if I'm gonna, maybe I use this one, but not the purple one. But this one is pretty. It's pretty. Look at that. Wait, where's the other one? Ooh, so pretty. I'm so excited to try this. Fenty Beauty, you already know, she's amazing. Rihanna, the baby. Um, this retails for $36. $36 for this. Highlighter Duo. All right. Next, we have a Frank Body Coffee Scrub. I did purchase this because I wanted to try a coffee scrub. I already bought one if you saw my latest hauls. Um, but this was one of my picks for this box. The coffee scrub. They say it's really good. And I have seen a little bit of difference on my um, stretch marks and stuff like that. Because I've been scrubbing there. So, I'm excited to try this. Coffee scrub, uh, $16.95. But it's a big, big bag. Um, you get 7 ounces. So pretty. It's supposed to, it has vitamin E, has sweet almond oil, and robusta coffee. Amazing. <laughs> this is funny. It says, how to use me. Get naked and get in the shower. <laughs> Wet your body and turn off the water. Cover your whole body in scrub and rub it in circular motions. Use me two to three times per week for best results. Test it on babes, not bunnies. I love that. Waterproof bag, no pegs and parabens. Um, it's 100% natural. Love that. Okay, next we have... Mm -mm, oh, I, I saw this and I was like, oh, this is cute. This is a shower gel, a shower body wash, but it has Epsom salt, which is cute. Ooh, and lavender oil. Daily cleansing ritual. Lavender oil. Oh, this is exciting. I love love like I've been sleeping with my diffuser with like lavender grapefruit and all that stuff it's been amazing um, this retails for $39.95 it's kind of pricey not gonna lie that is kind of pricey $39.95 but it's two items though it has it's supposed to be a common clean lavender body and hand wash it's like three things in there but i think it's so pricey $39.95 better do the job <laughs> okay next we have a facial treatment mask this one <laughs> um, we have a few masks in here I think it's like five packs or six packs I don't remember but I did open it yesterday you got one two three five masks in here one thirty five dollars Wow Wow for mask oh my god Jesus I'm about to faint this box is like $60, I believe. I don't know. I don't recall anymore, but it's like $60. $135 in mask? Are you kidding me? That is amazing. And it's a rose gold brightening facial treatment mask. All right. The next is a uh, clean towels 25 pack. I think. Um, I think it's like towels for your face. I don't know. I don't know if like is they're disposable or what I have no clue what is this for but it brings like a thing that says mirror apply on corner mirror stickers I don't know what the heck is that I guess you can put it like on a mirror or something I don't know whatever this is $9.95 $9.95 for that okay I'm gonna add those numbers and I'll be back so I can tell you 
which was my favorite one. <laughs> All right, guys, I am back with the totals and we have the BoxyCharm Premium. First, it was totaled $225 total and you paid $35, so that's not bad at all. And then you have the Boxy Lux, which was $317.85. Um, yeah, that is pricey. Just with the mask, I was like, excuse me? All right, so um, yeah, I think I don't have a favorite on this one, but I do got I do love the boxy lux though. I do look like the boxy lux because we had the eye cream, the Fenty Beauty, the scrub, the the brush. I like a couple things from there, so I'm excited for that. All right, so those were the stuff that we got on the boxy lux and boxy charm premium, and I'm so excited. Um, we don't have a lot of things that we can try. We got a few things. Um, but I don't have a lot of things that we can try. Um, I wish I can try more things, people. We're gonna try a palette. We're gonna try Fenty Beauty highlighters. We're gonna, I think I'm gonna use the eye cream, just whatever. Um, and we might use, um, the brush. We're gonna use the brush. Um, yeah, let me put these things aside and we're gonna go ahead and get started. I'm gonna go ahead and do my eyebrows and I'll be back all right guys I am back eyebrows are done excuse my eyebrows because they need to be done but I did fill them um, and yeah I'm gonna be using um, one of the palettes and I'm gonna be using the hip dot palette because I think it has a lot of cute colors like very fall kind of type colors the other one had a little bit of the bright ones um, I don't know if I'm gonna use it, um, but <laughs> oh, I can't even open it. Carajo. Like if you look at it, it, it's a lot of bright, bright colors. I don't think I'm gonna use purple and all that stuff. Like I feel like it's such a pretty, pretty palette though. Such a pretty palette. Uh, but I'm gonna be trying this one the hip dot and I'm gonna go ahead and jump into it guys I don't want to kill the time with that All right, so I'm gonna do just one eye. I already prime it. I did put um the Tarte concealer I put a little bit of the Tarte concealer and I think that should be okay um, and I'm gonna be using um, That palette I feel like doing like orangey vibes, you know, like brown vibes and stuff like that. <laughs> Alright, let's use Wanderlust in there. Wanderlust. Using just a fluffy brush from Morphe. Very powdery, actually. It's like a pink tone. Okay, now I'm gonna go into grounded, which is the one next to it, which is more more like orangey, more like fall colors. Same brush. To make it more dark. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and cut the crease with the P. Louise base. Look at that. We cut the crease. And I'm gonna add two tones in there, people. Two tones we're gonna add. All right, I'm adding Canyon. Canyon, this one right there. To the outer. And now I'm gonna use the Virgin, 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 this one. It's kind of like a very, very um, gold tone. I'm using a flat brush. Let's see how it goes with the flat. All 
All right, now I'm gonna use vibration. Vibration, this one, like a that brown kind of. Now using like an angle brush because I want to angle it as an eyeliner. Eyeliner. <laughs> Like on the outer corner over here. All right, guys, this is the eye right now. Of course, it's missing like the eyeliner and mascara and all of that. I'm gonna go ahead and do my other eye. And I'm gonna come back to use the foundation because we're gonna be using the facial oil with the foundation to see how that goes so I'll be back guys let me finish the other eye all right guys I am back I did the, the other eye and I did moisturize with the milk hydro primer grip and I'm gonna put um, a little bit of the eye cream just to try it out see how's the smell and all that goodies See how this goes. Smells smells okay. I'm gonna use this finger with the no nail. And I'm gonna put it on the on their eye. Hydrate those eyes. feels good pretty refreshing I don't think it's like a oh my god it smells very fruity but it has a little bit of a smell it's a brightening vitamin C eye cream with acerola cherry oh it's mainly it's made exclusively for boxycharm so nobody else has this <laughs> it's only made for boxycharm so if you got it in the boxycharm you got it you got an exclusive item all right and i was reading on the face oil you can it says directions you can warm a few drops between your hands and smooth over a clean face and neck primarily at night for maximum effect and it says an uh, expert tip add a few drops of brightland facial oil to your moist to your most to your moisturizer for adding moisture add a couple of drops to your foundation to achieve an added added radiance can be used during the day for adding moisture if required so i'm gonna use a little bit on my foundation i don't know which foundation i'm gonna be using but we'll see we'll see we'll see the foundation i'm gonna be using but I'm gonna add a couple drops, not a lot, because I don't know how this is gonna work. All right, I'm gonna be using the NYX foundation. I haven't used this in a long time. So, we got something out, finally. Oh my God, that foundation was so dried. That means it's time to use it before it goes bad. All right, and I'm using, look, very tiny bit of that. I'm gonna add like two drops okay and I'm gonna use like the back of a brush kind of to mix it in together okay I'm gonna use this sponge over here and you're gonna okay, can you tell that this foundation doesn't match all right guys so I think we are okay one thing i'm gonna tell you it smells really good let me see yes it smells really good feels nice not so a little bit oily not a lot i did put two drops i didn't want to add a lot of drops but look at the foundation how it looks i mean this foundation is not um it says full coverage but you really have to build it but it's not bad i like it i like how it looks on me i don't know if you guys can see it over there but i like how it looks here all right 
All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and finish the rest of my face. I'm gonna do the um, what is it? Um, concealer, powder, contour, blush, and then we got three more things to try, which is the lipstick, the eyeliner, and the highlighter, and then we're done. Pretty nice video. Hopefully this one is short. I always say that and it's always more than 25 minutes But of course, it's we're opening boxes and we are trying the makeup. So of course it's gonna be longer I always cut the eye that way. It's not longer enough, but All right, I'll be back guys. Let me finish the rest of my face All right guys, I am back and I did my face. I'll tell you right now what I use so you guys can know um, concealer, I used the H Rewind, the famous Maybelline concealer. Um, I had it there and I was like, oh, let me use that. I haven't used it in a long time. For setting, I did use Fenty Beauty. This is butter setting powder. I love this powder. For uh, blush and bronzer, I use Alamar Cosmetics for both. For bronzer, I kind of use this both and um blush as you can tell i love this one i missed it actually like this this time usually i go like that this one i wanted like to be like orangey vibe so i use this one both of these so that is what we have for that i'm gonna go ahead and let's do that and i did use my under eye i did use just the orange one the um grounded on the bottom that's it and now i'm gonna go ahead and use the eyeliner and we have the mark jacobs eyeliner um i don't know if i'm gonna wing it i might just like add it onto the end because i have that wing it type of eyeliner And I used it once. I never put it back again, guys. I used it once. And I think I think it's fine like that. I don't want to wing it because I have that effect of the wing. Um, yeah, I like it. Super, super like it. And it's super dark. Love that. Love that. All right, guys. Mascara's on. I did use a combination of Kevin Acton. I don't know if that's how you say it. And uh, Wonder Beauty. I usually mix... Don't you guys mix mascaras too? I do it all the time. I don't know. I feel like one is not enough. Like the, the other one gives them more volume, more black. I don't know. Okay, I'm going to be using the Fenty Beauty. I'm going to be using the lightest color, which is Seven Way Weekend. Seven Day Weekend. Seven Day Weekend. And I'm going to use the brush. I forgot I had this. And I'm um, using the tiny side, which is highlighter. And... I don't want to use a lot because it's so pink. I think a little bit just to. We're missing just the lipstick. I don't know. This is like a lip gloss high shine gloss i don't know if it's gonna look good just without let's just use it like that just a lip gloss okay i'm gonna use <laughs> the lip gloss from mark jacobs this is called enamorate i don't know what's the color oh no it's called it's called french tickler 316 and it's just a lip gloss, but I'm gonna use it like that. Because I think it's pretty. Alright guys, this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoy the look. And be sure you do give it a thumbs up if you do like it. And on today's video, we did unbox the BoxyCharm Luxe and BoxyCharm Premium. And of course, all the products I tried, they were all super, super good eyeliner highlighter brush palette lip gloss like they're all super super good i totally love them all nothing really disappointed 
at least for now like all the other stuff i will have to try it on my own like skincare facials mask whatever so i hope you guys enjoyed it for this month my favorite product was the Fenty Beauty and of course the eyeliner was bomb, like super bomb. I love that it's super black, super, super black. So yes, thank you guys for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe down below and follow me on my social media for upcoming giveaways. Bye.